In this video, I'm going to be talking about complex numbers and trigonometry. Uh, there's some interest pro interesting properties in complex numbers which make it easier for us to analyze things like uh, cos 3 theta and or cos cube theta or basically any power. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to do this in terms of example, right? And then you'll see what I mean. So the first example that I'm going to do is what is cos 3 theta in terms of cos and sine so cos theta in terms of cos theta and sine theta and the second example that I'm going to be doing is what is cos cube theta in terms of uh, cos 3 theta and uh, cos theta okay so let's let's worry about this this uh, later on but uh, let's and now let's focus on this part of the question so uh, let me start off by saying uh, z is equal to cis theta okay and it and I do mean cis theta where r is equal to 1 All right so that's why I haven't put anything up front here uh, if I tell you now you know by de Moire's theorem that z cubed is equal to cis 3 theta right so this is simply uh, de Moire I think that's how you spell it de Moire's theorem right um, but but what you can do is now you know z is equal to cos cos theta plus i sine theta right now if you cube this which is what I've done over here instead of instead of using de Moira's here what I what I can do is I can uh, I can expand this out so I'm going to I'm going to be a bit lazy and then write and write c for cos and s for sine right um, Expanding this out, the first term that I'm going to get is c to the power of 3. The second term, I will get uh, 3c squared times is, right? So the i, I will bring it up front here. The second term, the, sorry, the third term that I'm going to get is, uh, again, 3c. Uh, now this time, it's s squared and i squared as well right but instead of writing the i squared over there I'm going to write i squared over here and then the last term that I'm going to get is i cubed s cubed now if you're wondering where did these coefficients come from right so this is simply the expansions of a polynomial right so I'd, I'd probably need you to look that up yourself um, but these are the coefficients that you get um, okay so right, rewriting what I have up here again, what I will end up with is c cubed plus uh, i times uh, 3c squared s. So that stays, remains the same. Now the i squared becomes a minus 3c s squared. And i cubed is going to become a minus i s cubed. But we know that this is equal to cis 3 theta, right? So instead of writing cis 3 theta, I'm going to write it as cos 3 theta plus i sine 3 theta. Now, now it's a simple matter of equating the two sides of this equation, right? So I'd rather, I'd rather say equivalence rather than equation, right? So that bit is the equivalence. So if I'm going to equate the the real terms and the imaginary terms separately so that's the key thing that i'm doing over here i will end up saying cos 3 theta is equal to uh, c cubed so c cubed or rather cos cubed theta uh, and then i will have minus 3 cos theta sine that should be a squared my, my mistake sine squared theta okay so there you go all right so this is the big deal of being able to use complex numbers to evaluate um, trigonometry equations all right so cos theta in the same way i can say that sine 3 theta is equal to uh so i i, I can say i sine 3 theta but you'll see it's 
it will simply cancel out. Taking the i out, I will get 3 cos squared theta sine theta. Right, so I'm just looking at the imaginary terms now, right, these two, minus uh, i sine cubed theta. Right? And the imaginary terms can simply just disappear. Right? So the, it's not too important to write the imaginary terms. So I end up having sine 3 theta is equal to this. Okay, so there you go. Um, all right, sine 3 theta, 3 theta and cos 3 theta. So in the same way, you can, you can get cos 7 theta, cos 6 theta, whatever it is. Sim simply by expanding out what is uh, cis theta to the power of 6. Okay, so the idea behind is you, exp you expand this out and take the real terms to get the cos 6 theta and the imaginary terms to get the sine 6 theta. Okay, now let's go to the second question, uh, second part of this question. The second part of this question is say, cos cubed theta, I want to represent that in terms of firstly cos 3 theta and cos theta, well, both of them together, okay? So I want to represent in terms of these two. Okay, let's, let's get started. Now for this question, we're going to take a slightly different approach. Now, you should know that z, uh, z plus z inverse Okay, so suppose, okay, let's, let me start again. I'm gonna say again that z is equal to cis theta. Okay, so r is equal to one. Z inverse in that case is equal to cis minus theta. Okay, so, uh, and if you, if you really want me to draw a diagram, because the reason is if theta is like that, z to the power of minus one is simply gonna be the conjugate. Okay, add the two up. I will I will actually end up with two cos theta. And on a side note, which is not quite related, if I go z minus z inverse, I will end up with uh, two i sine theta. Now I'll leave this to you as an exercise, right? So to prove these two, adding up these two to get this, and minusing the two to get that one. But the idea is that cos, cos, the, cos of minus theta ends up being equal to cos, min, uh, cos minus theta because it's an even function. And sine, okay, let me just write this down, sine minus theta is equal to minus sine theta because it's an odd function. Okay, I, basically I can take the minus outside. Right? So I'm going to leave that as an exercise because I don't want to uh, waste too much time on that. So coming back to this, the question goes, I need to write what is cos cubed theta, okay? So cos cubed theta, to take to get cos cubed theta, what I'm actually gonna do is gonna say, z plus z to the inverse to the power of three is equal to eight, because two cubed is eight, cos cubed theta. Okay, so now I have my Q, cos cubed theta. How, what, is, what is that equal to in terms of uh, cos 3 theta and so on? Uh, so to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to expand this side out. All right, so expanding that side out, I will end up getting, uh, the first term will be z cubed. The second term will be plus 3z squared times z to the minus 1. Okay, the next term will be plus 3z times z to the minus 2, right? And the last term will be z to the minus 3. Okay, so now, um, simplifying this, I will end up getting z cubed plus z to the minus 3, plus 3 times, so simplifying this part, that will give me z, and this part will give me plus z to the minus 1. Okay? Now, if you remember, z cubed is simply equal to cis 3 theta. Okay? If I add z to the power of minus 3, so that z to the power of minus 3 will be cis minus 3 theta. So in the same idea follows this term, this term up here is going to end up being 2 cos 3 theta. And this term over here is going to be plus 3 times 
well, we know what this is already is simply going to be cos to cos theta. Okay, so now I know that my eight cos cubed theta is equal to two cos three theta plus three cos theta. Okay, now to get cos cubed theta, it's simply a matter of dividing by eight. So I will end up getting a quarter cos three theta plus three on eight cos theta. Okay, so there you go. If I if I want to get a similar thing for sine cubed, if I want to get a similar term for sine cubed theta, I will simply need to use the expansion z minus z inverse to the power of three, and that will end up giving me uh, eight i cubed sine cubed theta. Okay, and now and you just need to follow the same steps that we did up here. Okay, where you just expand what it is going to be. Okay, but I'll leave, again, I'll leave that up to you. So if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, but the, the two main things that you need to take out from this uh, exercise was that if I need to write uh, cos of, say, phi theta, 6 theta, any number theta, in terms of just cos theta and sine theta, and the keyword is just these two, use, this, uh, use the method that I did before, where I uh, expanded what cis theta is, right? So I end up expanding cis theta. But if you need to write um, cos cubed theta, right? So cos to the power of theta, right? So now the keyword is cos to the power of theta in terms of these things, then you need to use the expansion uh, z plus z to the inverse. So yeah, um, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. But uh, that's it. Thanks for listening.